guys, how's your day going? All right, so today we're gonna to be talking about the Moonshine Mini August collection, which is a full relaunch of my original Looking for Group collection, which was inspired by World of Warcraft. This launched a couple years ago, and we're doing a 2.0 formula on all of these because these were included in all of the polishes that I lost all the recipes to when I had that huge data loss, which I have learned from. We have really hard lessons we have to learn sometimes, and I have learned my lesson. Um, <laughs> backups of backups, lessons were learned. In any case, these all had to retire because I lost all the recipes. Everything pretty much on my website retired. Um, since then, I've been doing the MSM Comeback Collection where I've been bringing back fan favorite polishes. And so many of the Looking for Group polishes are being voted to come back that I just decided, and you know, I enjoy these polishes a lot too, so it was a lot personal preference as well. I wanted to bring these polishes back. So I'm super excited. All eight original polishes are making a comeback this month. They are launching August 14th. That's this Friday at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. And then there is a bonus polish, of course, which you can get for free in the first 48 hours. And I will tell you how to do that in just a moment. But we're gonna go ahead and start with my Project Dupe It for this month. So each month I do a Project Dupe It polish where I'm trying to give you something similar to a lot of people's lemming polishes so that you aren't sad that you can't get these mainstream polishes that are so beautiful. Um, they're on a lot of people's lemming lists and they're hard to find. This month I am attempting to make something inspired by Butter London Two Fingered Salute. And this is this really beautiful gray olive green shade. And it has all of these beautiful coppery red micro flakies. And I added multi-chrome shimmer that goes from red to copper. This is not an exact dupe of Butter London Two Fingered Salute. It is definitely inspired by, but I am hoping it's gonna give you a really close look to what is on a lot of your lemming list. So I hope you enjoy that. That's also launching on Friday the 14th. Okay, so let's get into the collection. The original Looking for Group collection had eight polishes, which are all making a return. In the 2.0 formula, like I said, most of the times I am usually adding more flakies, more hollow, things like that. And for a lot of the recipes, I have some discontinued pigments, so I had to kind of make it work with what I could find now, two years later. So they're not, any of them, gonna look exactly like the original polish. This is Cataclysmically Epic 2.0. That, I believe, is three coats on my nails. That's a Wicked Multi-Chrome, in case you're wondering and it has lots of flakies in the blue and green colors and the main shifts are like that rosy red to dark fuchsia and some green. Next up we have Home Sweet Gnome. This polish is named after a quest for the gnome race in the game. They are these cute characters that you can have really fun hairdos and colors and Back in the old days, they were the most fun characters for me to kind of like play dress up with in the game, which for me, that's a lot of fun. Um, anyway, this is a high shimmering polish with a lot of gold hollow, and it's a deep rose jelly with red to orange to yellow multi-chrome shimmer, lavender to gold micro flakes, and iridescent yellow glitters, holographic gold glitter, and red to green shifting square glitter. So that's home sweet gnome. A lot of these polishes I'm giving you kind of a couple of different lightings so that you can see how the shifty pigments work. Next up we have Leroy Jenkins 2.0. This one is pretty close to the original version. I don't have, like I said, any of the original recipes for these, so I'm just kind of like recreating out of uh, memory what I did here. But I'm pretty sure the original version of this was a linear hollow um, holographic in the base, and I added a holographic micro flaky as well. So it has two kinds of hollow in here. This is how it looks when you wear it three coats on its own and I really, really like that look. And some of my swatchers actually showed me that I could wear it that way first. I have made it as a topper originally. So I'm gonna show you how it works as a topper. It looks really cool over multi-chrome polishes, over cataclysmically epic, it kind of looks like the galaxy. And this is it over two weeks notice, which was our August 
Project Dupe this month. Um, so yeah, it works really well both ways. It has the red to gold to green iridescent flakies, lots of hollow and aqua and gold metallic flakies. And then next we have Magni Bronze Beard. And this is a bronze metallic base with three different multi-chrome flakes that shift through bronze, silver, red, copper, gold, and green. And this is just a really fun neutral that has a lot of shifty flakies going on in there. It's named after one of the main NPC character. Um, he happens to be a dwarf and it's he has kind of a big role actually in recent expansions, but um, he's been important for a long time. So I decided to create a whole polish after him. He's a cool dude. So that's Magni Bronzebeard. Next we have Molten Core 2.0 and this polish is inspired after one of the original raid dungeons in the game. Basically how the game, especially in you know when it was originally launched, how it worked is you really needed to work together with your fellow players to get you know the big things in the game done. So this polish is inspired off of one of those big raids that you had to get together with a whole bunch of people to complete. This is a blackened cranberry jelly base with red to green shimmer, as well as red to copper to orange to gold multi-chrome flakes. So this one's another multi-chrome shifty with multi-chrome flakes in there as well. And I'm giving you macro shots of everything so you can see all those yummy flakies and shimmers. Next up we have Noggin Fogger Elixir 2.0. And if you didn't notice, I named the relaunch of this collection Patch 1.0.1. For any gamers, you might know why I named it that. It's just kind of a little bit of a tongue-in-cheek way to say relaunching. Um, Noggin Fogger Elixir 2.0 is a deep teal jelly base with pink to green to gold shifting shimmer, purple, blue, green iridescent flakies, as well as blue and green metallic flakies, holographic micro flakies, and blue to purple shifting chameleon glitter. There's a lot going on in here. This polish is inspired by this item that you could get in the game that I always just thought was pretty funny because the name of it is Noggin Fogger Elixir. But the drinker, if they drink this elixir, they turn into a skeleton. It was just a really cool item in the game back in the day. This polish is really special because it's named after the place that Tim and I met in the game. So we were, you know, doing what care, you know, what you do when you play the game. You get together with other players to complete different events or things in the game. Pools of Agonar is a place. <laughs> I won't try to explain to you where it is, but it's in a place called Hellfire Peninsula. And it's this kind of slimy pool that is not romantic at all. But that's where I met my future husband, and so it's very special to us. It's described as a swampy green multi-chrome shifting through olive green, forest green, and teal, and has gold holographic micro glitter, red to green shifting glitters, and red to orange to gold to green chameleon flakies. Next up we have a soul stone 2.0. This is described by me as a boysenberry jelly base with green to teal multi-chrome shimmer, Aqua to blue Aurora Shimmer as well as Metallic Blue and Shifty Pink to blue to gold Chameleon Flakes. There's a lot going on in here as well. This has a really fun combo of this purpley boysenberry deep berry jelly base and then I added that green multi-chrome shimmer in there because I really wanted it to, to look kind of wicked. This is inspired by the Warlock class, specifically by the Soul Stone that they can make that is really helpful for their class and being able to stay alive longer. Um, anyway, if you don't play this game, I definitely recommend it. If it isn't clear, I really enjoy this game and it has a sentimental depth for me. Last up, we're gonna look at the add-on. So usually with each collection, I give you an add-on polish that you get for free if you're ordering the full base collection. So this polish, Karazan 2.0, will be added to your order. No need to add it to cart. It will auto populate in your order if you are ordering the full eight piece collection, which we just looked at. It's also available for individual purchase, but this one you get for free the first 48 hours after launch. And I describe it as a blurple jelly glowing with pink, gold, green, shifty shimmer, and holographic micro flakies, gold holographic micro glitters, and red to green iridescent micro glitters. And that is the full looking for group. <laughs> 
Collection Patch 1.0.1. Now I'm going to show you really quickly my Polish Gamers Box exclusive for August because it launches just one day after. It launches on the 15th exclusively at the Polish Gamers website, which along with the Moonshine Manny website will be in the description bar below. And in August, the makers for the Polish Gamers Box are inspired by the game The Witcher. So I made this beautiful ruby red holographic in the same formula as Mike and Bezaquil, but it has these added micro black glitters and platinum flakies to give a really cool kind of gritty but still elegant look on the nail. I really love this formula. If you like Mike and Bezaquil, you'll probably really like this polish as well. So that is it, you guys. That polish is only available for five days, by the way. It's exclusively at Polish Gamers website, so check down below if you want to link to that. That's going to be it for today's video. I hope you're having a fantastic day. I will see you back again very soon. Bye, guys.